in the beginning God spoke and the words that fell from his lips created the heavens and earth were born with sentences being articulated the universe his canvas with the stroke of the tongue he turned on the light and by the power of his voice he shut it off and called it night oh and it was most certainly good as he brought about the oceans and jungles and vegetation, these just being the start of his masterpiece we like to call creation. Who can create things simply by speaking them into existence? What kind of being can form something from nothing simply in an instance? Day after day, new things being birthed into reality, vibrant colors, opaque patterns, painted just perfectly. From fish, birds, and amphibians, to mammals, reptiles, and crustaceans. Formed with scrupulous detail and such beautiful combinations. Even the tiniest of organisms to the grandest of creatures. All made for his pleasure and glory. But that's definitely not the end of this story. As he would save his greatest creation for last. Mankind. Out of the dust he was molded by the divine, though deemed lifeless, until the triune God breathed into him, shaping him into his likeness. The Comforter, Yeshua, and Yahweh, working impeccably together as one, and in six days all the spoken word creating was complete and done. Image bearers we are. Created for the Creator, not the other way around. The world has it backwards as it's all about selfism burning itself to the ground. Sin has marred us and broken fellowship with the Creator, but God so loved the world that He gave His Son as its only Savior. Salvation. Jesus bridged the gap through a Roman cross bringing forth reconciliation. Now sinful man can be made right with God as He gifted us with justification. The grim reaper got crushed by his resurrection. Undisputed, undefeated, heavyweight champion of the world, Jesus of Nazareth. What is man but a speck of dust compared to the infinite? The God would even be mindful of us to have a relationship so intimate. So what can we learn from all of this? That God is the ultimate innovator and creator of all things good. And humanity is most fulfilled when creating for His glory. Understood?